Hey, what's going on guys? It's EGA Prime back here again. Today I'm here with the Raspberry Pi 3 and Retro Pi 4.0 Beta 2. I want to show you how to set up your PS3 Bluetooth controller. So first thing you need to know is we're going to need another controller or a keyboard to set up first. Now we're going to use this keyboard or controller to navigate the menus so we can get into the Retro Pi setup install the PS3 Bluetooth controller driver, and then we can start using our PS3 controller over Bluetooth. I never start with the PS3 controller, so what I have plugged into my Raspberry Pi 3 right now is my keyboard, my ethernet, you can use Wi-Fi if you'd like, you'd need to set that up also, and I have my PS3 cable connected, but it is not plugged into my PS3 controller. Now, one important thing is you need a cable that transfers data also. Some of these cables are on charge only, so you need to make sure it is a data transferable cable. The one that came with your PS3 controller should definitely work, because the Raspberry Pi 3 needs to get the Bluetooth address from your PS3 controller through this cable. So I'm going to set up a keyboard now. You can set this up any way you'd like, but I'll tell you how I set mine up. I use my arrow keys for up, down, left, right. My start button is Q, my select button is W, my A button is A, and my B button is S. Now from here, you can map anything you want. These are the main keys we're going to use to install the PS3 controller driver. So I'm just going through and typing all kinds of crazy stuff right now. When you get to your OK, you're going to need to press the button you map to your A button. So I mapped my A button to my A button on my keyboard. RetroPie 4 has changed a little bit. As you see, we no longer have any other emulators installed when we first boot up. I like it this way, it's much cleaner. So the first option we need to go to is RetroPie, and that'll be the first one chosen here. Press A. If you want to set up your Wi-Fi, you can go to the bottom and set up Wi-Fi. You're going to need to be connected online to download the driver. If you're already connected to Wi-Fi or Ethernet, navigate to RetroPie Setup and press A. Now the menu has changed significantly from RetroPie 3.8. But it's very easy to navigate. I really like this. They cleaned it up a lot and put things where they really should have been in the first place. The guys have done such a great job with RetroPie and it's only getting better. In this menu, navigation is a bit different. You'll still use your arrow keys, but to enter a menu option, you'll need to press your enter key. We'll need to go to manage packages. So it's the first one here, press enter. Scroll down to Manage Driver Packages. It'll be listed under Driver. Press Enter. We'll scroll till we see PS3 Controller. Press Enter. We need to install the PS3 driver now. So press Enter. It's going to connect to the online service, download the driver for us, and install it. This could take anywhere from a minute to four minutes. Be patient, it's going to finish, guys. After it's done installing, you'll be brought back to this menu. Scroll down once on your keyboard and press Enter. From here, install Pair PS3 Controller. Number 1, press Enter. The driver and configuration tools for connecting PS3 controllers has been installed. Please connect your PS3 controller now or any time to its USB connection to set up Bluetooth connection. So what this is going to do is when we plug it in, it will read the Bluetooth address and store it in the Raspberry Pi 3. All four LEDs will flash on the PS3 controller while it's connected. So just leave it plugged in for 5 to 10 seconds. We'll unplug the controller. Press the PS button in the middle. It should give us a little vibrate. That way we know we're connected to Bluetooth. So go ahead and plug in your cable now to your PS3 controller. Wait five to 10 seconds. We'll go ahead and unplug it now. Now press the PS button in the middle of your controller. You should feel the controller vibrate 
and your number one LED should be lit up. So your PS3 controller is connected with Bluetooth now, but we still need to set the controller up in the controller configuration menu. We need to exit these menus and set up the PS3 controller. Now this is really why we needed an extra keyboard or controller connected. Cancel, back, 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 exit. Now here, our PS3 controller is connected but it's not set up. So we need to press start on our keyboard, whatever button you map to start. Scroll down to configure input. Press your A button. Now it's detected one gamepad, and that is my Bluetooth PS3 controller. I'm just gonna set it up. You are now connected to Bluetooth with your PS3 controller. This is really cool because um, we don't have any wires now connected to the Raspberry Pi. You can sit back on the couch, enjoy some retro gaming, and it works very well. This is your best choice. If you want to get a controller, they're cheap. Get you a PS3 controller. You can find them on Craigslist, eBay, Amazon. Your buddy may even have one or two laying around his house. That's it for now, guys. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. If you have any requests, also throw them in the comments below. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. And like always, thanks for watching.